What if I told you that the story of humanity starts in one place, Africa? More than just a continent, Africa is the birthplace of all modern humans. It's where our DNA journey began, shaping not only the people who live there, but also the entire world. But what makes African DNA so unique? Why does it hold the key to understanding humanity's past, present, and even its future? In this video, we'll dive into the science, history, and fascinating traits that make African DNA not just different, but extraordinary. From its incredible diversity to its role in shaping human evolution, this story will change the way you see the world and yourself. Africa isn't just rich in culture, wildlife, and resources, it's also a treasure trove of genetic information. So, whether you're a science enthusiast or just curious about your roots, stick around. The answers might surprise you. To understand African DNA, we need to go back about 200,000 years. That's when modern humans, or Homo sapiens, first emerged in East Africa. Yes, Africa is literally the cradle of humanity. It's not just a poetic idea, it's a scientific fact. Every human on Earth today shares a common ancestor who lived in Africa. This leads us to the Out of Africa theory. Around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, small groups of humans began migrating out of Africa, spreading to Europe, Asia, and eventually the Americas. But here's the thing, not all humans left. Many stayed in Africa, and their descendants are still living there today. Because of this, African populations retained the oldest and most diverse genetic material in the world. When humans left Africa, they took only a small portion of the genetic diversity with them. Think of it like a branch breaking off a tree. It still grows, but it's not as robust as the original trunk. That's why populations in other parts of the world have less genetic variation compared to those in Africa. This ancient connection to Africa is a reminder of how deeply intertwined all humans are. Regardless of where you come from, your DNA carries a piece of Africa's legacy. Let's talk about genetic diversity. African populations have the most genetic variation of any group on Earth. But what does that actually mean? It means that the differences between two randomly selected people in Africa are greater than the differences between people from any two other continents. Why is this important? For starters, genetic diversity is the foundation of evolution. The more variation a population has, the better it can adapt to changes, whether it's a new environment or a deadly disease. This diversity is why African populations have been able to thrive in vastly different climates, from the deserts of the Sahara to the rainforests of the Congo. But it's not just about survival, it's also about uniqueness. Features like skin tone, hair texture, and facial structure vary widely across African populations. For example, the sand people of southern Africa have genetic markers that are among the oldest in the world, while the Nilotic people of East Africa are known for their tall, lean physiques, and adaptation to hot climates. This diversity also extends to health. African populations have unique genetic traits that influence how they respond to diseases and treatments. For example, some groups carry genes that provide resistance to malaria, while others have mutations linked to sickle cell anemia. Understanding these traits can help scientists develop better treatments for everyone, not just people of African descent. In short, African DNA is like a living library, holding the secrets to our past and the keys to our future. Nowhere is the power of African DNA more evident than in its adaptations to different environments. For thousands of years, Africans have lived in some of the most challenging conditions on Earth, and their DNA reflects that. Take malaria, for example. This disease has been a major threat in Africa for centuries, killing millions of people. Over time, a genetic mutation called the sickle cell trait emerged. While it can cause sickle cell anemia in some individuals, it also provides protection against malaria. This is a powerful example of natural selection at work. Another fascinating adaptation can be seen in Ethiopian populations living at high altitudes. These communities have developed unique genetic traits that allow them to thrive in low-oxygen environments. 
Unlike other high-altitude populations, such as those in the Andes or the Himalayas, Ethiopians achieved this adaptation through entirely different genetic pathways, showcasing the creativity of evolution. Even skin color is an adaptation. The rich melanin in darker skin protects against the intense UV radiation in equatorial regions, reducing the risk of skin cancer and preserving essential nutrients like folate. Meanwhile, African populations in less sunny regions have evolved lighter skin tones to absorb more vitamin D. These adaptations are not just survival tools, they're a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of African populations. They show how humans can thrive in any environment, given enough time and the right genetic toolkit. One of the most intriguing aspects of African DNA is its relationship with diseases. Africa's long and varied history of battling illnesses has shaped its genetic makeup, leading to both extraordinary resistance and unique vulnerabilities. Let's start with resistance. The sickle cell trait is a prime example. This genetic mutation arose in regions where malaria was prevalent, as it helps protect against the disease. While carrying one copy of the gene offers this advantage, inheriting two copies can lead to sickle cell anemia, a condition that highlights the trade-offs of genetic evolution. Similarly, other genetic variants in African populations, such as the Duffy negative mutation, offer resistance to certain strains of malaria. But it's not just malaria. African populations have also evolved genetic defenses against other diseases like sleeping sickness caused by the tsetse fly. These adaptations reflect how deeply intertwined genetics and environment are as populations evolve to survive the specific challenges they faced. On the flip side, certain health conditions are more prevalent among African populations. For example, African Americans and people of African descent are at a higher risk for hypertension, diabetes, and some forms of cancer. Part of this is due to environmental and lifestyle factors, but genetics also plays a role. For instance, some African populations carry genes that make them more salt-sensitive, which may have been advantageous in hot climates but increases the risk of hypertension today. Understanding these genetic traits doesn't just benefit African populations, it helps the entire world. By studying African DNA, scientists have made breakthroughs in understanding diseases like HIV, which disproportionately affects Sub-Saharan Africa. Research into genetic markers and immune responses in African populations has led to better treatments and vaccines that benefit everyone. In short, African DNA is like a medical encyclopedia, offering insights into human health and resilience. It's a reminder that what we learn from one group can help us all. Africa's genetic story doesn't stop at its borders. For thousands of years, African populations have been on the move, shaping and being shaped by the world around them. From ancient migrations to modern diasporas, these movements have left a lasting imprint on global genetics. The Bantu migration, which began around 3,000 years ago, is one of the most significant population movements in African history. As Bantu-speaking people spread across sub-Saharan Africa, they brought agriculture, ironworking, and their unique genetic makeup to new regions. This migration not only transformed the continent's cultural landscape, but also introduced new genetic traits that helped populations adapt to their environments. Later, during the transatlantic slave trade, millions of Africans were forcibly taken to the Americas. Despite the horrific circumstances, their DNA became a foundational part of the genetic makeup of countries like the United States, Brazil, and the Caribbean. Today, African ancestry is a vital part of the genetic identity of people across the Americas, influencing everything from health to cultural traditions. But the mixing didn't only go one way. Historical interactions with other populations, such as Arab traders in East Africa or European colonizers in the West, introduced new genetic elements to African populations. For example, Coastal regions like Ethiopia and North Africa show genetic influences from the Middle East and Southern Europe, creating a fascinating blend of traits. This genetic mixing highlights the interconnectedness of humanity. It's a reminder that no population exists in isolation, we're all part of a larger genetic tapestry. By studying these migrations and their effects, scientists can trace the pathways of human history and better understand how genes influence traits, health, and even culture.
If you want to understand humanity, you have to start with Africa. African DNA holds the oldest and richest genetic information, making it a goldmine for scientists studying human evolution. For example, the sand people of southern Africa are often described as one of the most ancient genetic lineages in the world. Their DNA carries markers that trace back tens of thousands of years, offering a window into the lives of early humans. By studying groups like the San, scientists can reconstruct our evolutionary history from the development of language to the spread of modern humans across the globe. But it's not just ancient DNA that's important. Modern African populations continue to provide crucial insights into how genes work. Because African populations have such high genetic diversity, they're more likely to carry rare mutations that reveal new information about human biology. For instance, studying African genomes has helped identify genes linked to diseases like Alzheimer's and diabetes, paving the way for new treatments. One exciting area of research is the discovery of ghost populations, ancient human groups that interbred with modern humans but left no direct descendants. Traces of these ghost populations have been found in the DNA of some African groups, adding another layer to the story of human evolution. This research isn't just about the past, it's about the future. By understanding how African DNA has adapted over millennia, we can better prepare for global challenges like climate change and pandemics. African DNA is a reminder of our shared history and a guide to what lies ahead. As we move forward, the future of African DNA research is brighter than ever. Scientists are just beginning to scratch the surface of what African genetics can teach us, and the potential is enormous. One of the biggest challenges is the underrepresentation of African populations in genetic studies. Despite their incredible diversity, African genomes make up less than 2% of the data used in global research. This is a missed opportunity, not just for Africans, but for all of humanity. Including African populations in genetic research could lead to breakthroughs in medicine, agriculture, and even climate science. Fortunately, initiatives like the African Genome Project are working to change this. These projects aim to sequence the DNA of diverse African populations, creating a database that reflects the continent's genetic richness. This data could revolutionize personalized medicine, allowing doctors to develop treatments tailored to specific genetic profiles. But it's not just about science, it's about equity. Africa has given the world so much, from its genetic legacy to its cultural contributions. Investing in African genetic research is a way to honor that legacy and ensure that the benefits of scientific discovery are shared by everyone. In the end, African DNA is more than just a code, it's a story. It's the story of where we came from, how we've survived, and what we can achieve together. By studying it, we're not just learning about Africa, we're learning about ourselves.